Hello everyone and welcome back! Today I am back in Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Basford and we are going to be working on this little page here that we started on last time. So I'm going to do the top right circle just because I've got some uh, more budget pencils that I want to test out on this. So as I mentioned last time I thought I might do four different types of budget pencils for each of these little circles and then we can find out which ones are worth the money and which ones would be good to give to say your kids that like art and things so today i'm going to be using these ones here and i'm going to butcher the name brunseal or something like that i think they're dutch so if anyone can tell me how to pronounce this that would be great so they've got a good range of colors and all I've done with these so far is just sharpen them and I've just done a bit of a um, just like a swatch on a piece of paper so just so I knew roughly what they sort of looked like so I'm just going to go ahead and use those today I do find they have a pretty decent range of colors and I like that they have like a peachy sort of color as well because I find not a lot of the smaller sets do have those and it's a 36 set same as the Ergosoft that we did so I'm going to do this little page here as, as I mentioned and I just wanted to see really how these pencils perform and we can compare them to the Ergosofts So I actually won this set of pencils through an Instagram competition last year and I haven't actually used them for a, as I mentioned, for a proper picture before so I'm really keen on seeing how these guys are performing and so far they look quite pigmented which is nice. So I also had to go and check on Amazon just to get a rough price point of these and I found that they, I couldn't find this exact set, but they did have another one of the 36 expression sets um, that were the watercolor pencils. And if they're anything like the um, Faber-Castell pencils, usually the price point is fairly similar. So the other set that I found was $48.95, that's Australian dollars. So if you're in the US, the price would be a little bit less. So I think it would probably be maybe about $40 or slightly less. So it's not a bad price point and they're definitely a little bit cheaper, at least here in Australia, compared to what the Ergosofts were. So I'm just going to go ahead now and just do these three bottles. I'll just do all the glass all at once now instead of doing them one at a time. Um, I am actually quite impressed with how much pigment these, especially these light colours, are putting down. I am going in light as I usually do because I'm rather 
build up my colors and I know that I'm going to add in some more on top anyway so I just don't want to risk um, not being able to layer enough on top to get that sort of glassy look to them and especially because I'm planning on doing exactly the same with these ones as I did with the Ergosoft so I'm only going to use these pencils I'm not putting in anything else so I'm not putting in any sort of white outlines or anything like that. I just want to use the pencils and make them shine. So my plan for this picture is to try and use as many of these pencils as I can so I'm kind of making it rather colourful and I just want to make sure that all of these pencils work well so that I can recommend them or not recommend them at the end and we'll see how we go. So I'm just going in with this lighter yellow and then I'm going to go in with some darker ones and just build up a little bit more shadows so that we get a bit of depth in a picture. I also want to try and finish this in about the same time as I did for our other little circles so I'm giving myself sort of just over an hour I think the other one was what an hour and ten minutes so I don't want to do anything more than that because I want to have fairly equal representation of both pencils.
I hope you're enjoying this little budget pencil test. If you are, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. It really does help push it out to a wider audience. And if you're new to this channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post new content. So pretty much the only colors that I'm leaving out today are the more earthy ones. So there's a couple of green ones that are more in the sort of olive and earthy kind of range. So I'm going to leave those. I want this picture to be bright, sort of similar, using similar color scheme to what we did on the Ergosoft pencils so that we have a pretty true representation of both pencils. So I'm just going to add a little bit more darkness here. As you saw, I did leave quite a fair bit of white on these. I kind of feel like these look a little bit like sequins. So I just wanted to make sure I had some white highlights there. And I'm just going to add in these little dark areas. I'm not, these are tiny little spots here. So I'm not going to go in too crazy. 
I just want to give a little bit of sort of darks and lights and try to make it look like it's a little bit of sort of sparkle in there but you know what so far I'm actually really impressed with this pink it's really nice and bright and I don't have to push down overly hard to um, to get the pigment down onto the paper either which is really nice For these little spools here with the thread, I'm just going to do pretty much exactly the same as I did with the Ergosoft. So I want the spools to be wooden ones and I'll have bright coloured threads.
So I just wanted to test out how these layer with different colors. So I just want to add a little bit of yellow on top of um, of the green as well. So I'm just going to do the little things inside it yellow. And then I'm just adding a little bit on top of here. I want to see how well it blends. And it's actually doing really good. I like that overlap there. It looks nice and natural. And yeah, I'm pretty impressed with these pencils so far actually. So one of the other pencils I really want to test out on this page is the Faber-Castell Classics. I have used those before, but I thought they would be a really good point. They are definitely on the cheap side. Um, they are, would be definitely cheaper than the ones we're trying on at the moment. But I think there are, I think there would be a good pencil to compare it to um, just for a price point and just to see the difference in sort of quality and everything and probably because a lot of kids kind of start out with the Faber-Castell classics so I think that would be a good one so if you have any ideas for the fourth type of pencil that we're going to test out please pop it down in the comments below I'm thinking either to sort of go and buy a new set or maybe should I go and get like some Crayolas maybe um, let me know what you think and if you have any recommendations that you want me to test out.
so I decided to make the handbag like a natural colored leather bag but with some little bling things on them so I'm just going to go in now with the lightest of the brown tones and then I'm going to do what I usually do and build up my values and making sure we have some nice lights and darks and get a bit of movement into this bag. I do think this is where we're really going to see how these pencils perform because I am planning on layering a few layers down here just to see how many layers I can get away with. What you can do with cheap pencils though is if they don't, if you can't layer down too many layers is like at the moment I'm going in with my lighter colors first and then building up. But you can of course then go in with your darker colors, lay in your shadows and then work your way out. You do then of course have to make sure that you leave enough light space so you have somewhere to place your gradient. But it's, it is a way of being able to get away with using cheaper pencils where you can't layer so much.
just going to go in now with my darkest brown in this set and I'm just going ahead and putting more shadows where there's overlaps as well as sort of underneath the bag where it's touching well, the table or the ground or whatever it is it's standing on. I would expect it to be darker there because the leather would be curving around. I'm going to go in with a little bit of black just to darken things up a little bit and this will also give an indication of how dark this black is. It's probably like not the darkest of blacks but it does do the job and I'm getting a nice shadow here and I'm not pressing down crazy hard. Definitely a little bit firmer hand than what I usually do but overall I'm so far impressed with how I'm layering this down so I am getting this is what now layer number four I think and I'm gonna go over this again with our lightest brown as well just to blend things out a little bit more
So I've decided on doing the little decorations on here in a combination of pink tones and teal tones. So hopefully that will look all right and we'll see where we go from there. test out some grey tones as well so I decided to make this little buckle here like a silvery tone as I usually do with silver I leave a little bit of white there and then I'm going in my lighter tone and I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the darker tones of grey as well and put on top
So lastly, I'm just going to go ahead and do these little bottles on the right hand side. So I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do a couple of color mixes. I'm going to do another one with the green and yellow, but I also, also think I might do some blue and violet kind of tones as well and see you guys know that I love that combination I've done it so many times especially on like the candles and things but I don't I don't think I have quite the right color blue but that's all right we'll make it work anyway So I'm just going to go ahead and do the glass and um, I'm using the same base tone as what I did for the ones on the left hand side but my second color is going to be a teal like a darker teal rather than the blue tone I just want to see how those work together
So I'm just going to use the same two teal pencils again for this little last bottle here. So I won't show you again which ones they are. They're exactly the same as I just used before. I didn't do this on our last little vignette on this one here but I wanted to just add in a little bit of very light shadows just underneath each item just to see I just want to see how how these greys work as the shadows and I just want to see how light I can get it down and how dark if that makes sense
pretty much done. I'm liking how these greys are layering up and I can sort of go in over the top again and just darken up this grey. So here we go. Here is our final product and a little bit better colour representation than obviously when it's on the video. So I am actually really impressed with how these worked. Um, they are nicely pigmented. They're definitely worth i think the cost that they are i think they're definitely worth that price they'd be a perfect set for someone who's kind of just starting out and just wants something that's got nice bright colors and that's not going to cost a fortune so definitely i reckon a for the price point i reckon i could give them a seven and a half out of ten so I thank you all so much for watching with me today. I wish you all a colourful day and I will see you again next time.